Phil and Edward Trash Man, back with another Dynasty Rankings update for this past week. First, we have James Conner, the Cardinals, age 29 season, moving up from 179 to 174. Not a huge bump, you know, but we're just getting confirmation that Conner is going to likely get starter snaps in the Cardinals offense, you know. Kind of thought that would be the case, but we didn't really know with Trey Benson, the rookie there, a third round rookie there in the mix. Um, and we're also finding out that Michael Carter is actually, <laughs> may actually play in front of Benson, at least to start the season. Um, so not ideal for those who are bank banking on Benson to have a, a year one impact. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens as the season goes along. Connor does have a um, history of injury and Michael Carter isn't the kind of player that can carry a full load in the backfield. Um, but I don't know that Trey Benson is either. He's never had more than 20 snaps in a game. In any case, Connor looks like the workhorse there in Arizona on an improved Arizona offense. At least, you know, like Kylo Murray will be on, under center starting the season with a largely kind of, you know, a very talented but largely unproven wide receiving core. And so that just gives them more reason to run that offense through Connor, you know, run the wheels off of him. Um, so we give him, well, I gave him a slight bump. After that, we have Chris Goblin of the Buccaneers, age 28 season. He's rising another moderate bump from 77 and 74. Goblin had a kind of a relative down year compared to at least – uh, all of his other seasons than his rookie year. Um, but he still had over a thousand yards. It just, you know, he didn't have that many touchdowns. Um, new offensive coordinator, Liam Cohen, you know, who was offensive coordinator for the Rams, says that Goblin will likely play this kind of Cooper Cup slot role. And we know, you know, how Cooper Cup thrived in that LA offense. But, you know, I think a lot of that had to do with the quarterback situation there and uh, Matt Stafford and his penchant for, you know, kind of singling out one particular guy and just targeting the hell out of him. Um, but Cohen probably will, I don't know if he'll force um, Baker Mayfield's hand, but he'll probably insist that Godwin be, you know, a, a major cog in this offense. And, you know, Baker Mayfield is just kind of that quarterback and, you know, anyways, in the first place. Um, so it looks like Godwin, by all intents and purposes, will have a bounce back year, um, at least more scores than the three he had last season. And lastly, we have Bo Nix, quarterback of the Broncos, age 24, rookie quarterback of the Broncos, rising from 149, 146. You know, Bo Nix keeps just getting better in these practices. He keeps um, shedding that label of him being raw in these practices. Um, Sean Payton has, you know, has never really coached up a rookie quarterback to be excellent in their first year. But, you know, from what we're seeing out of Bo Nix, he could buck that trend. He's displaying good feet, quick release. You know, he's learned the playbook. And he's got a lot of, you know, good weapons in that offense. Um, young weapons, but good weapons. On an offense, too, where, you know, they're going to give him some freedom to do the things that he does best. And so there you have it. Dynasty Rankings update for, update for this past week. Again, a little bit of a slow week, but we were able to make some moves and some moves that I think will matter in the long run. So there you have it. This has been the Trashman on half of rosterwatch.com. Until next time, be ready.